Oh my goodness, have I discovered a fun new way to do your eyeshadow that should only take you about five minutes but look like you took forever on it. You can achieve this look right here so easily. Let's find out how we can do a five minute eye super duper easy. Okay, so take a peek. I am having a hard time with my lighting because I'm learning. So take a peek. Let me turn this down. Take a peek at what I've done right here. I've done a bright color for that lid, another color for transition, another color for brightening, another color for deepening, all in straight lines. That's how we're going to work today. It is super fast. It's super fun. And I can't wait to share with you because this worked out so easy. You could do this super vibrant if you wanted to. Take a peek at the Natasha Denona Zendo palette that I put these colors together right here. So lid, transition, pop of color, and then the deepening. Anything you want to do, you can do it with this look. Let's get into the video so you can see the very muted, kind of purpley, lavendery tones that I use today. First thing I'm going to have you do, as always, is prime your eyelids. And broken record here, Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer, the only one that I use. So I'm going to put a tiny, tiny dot of that on and just work it across my eyelids to take out any discoloration and boy is this going to grip your eyeshadow like nothing else because so many of you had requested that i do some tutorials with the rose quartz that's what we're going to use today from huda beauty and what makes this tutorial so different from any others we're using four shadows that's it and we're using them so differently so i'm going to take my finger down into this lightest color down here I'm going to place that, this is the first thing, I'm going to place that across my eyelid about halfway. And then I'm going to do the other side as well. You can do this as much or as little as you want. If you don't want to do a shimmer, you don't have to do a shimmer. Go down into one of the mattes and you'll be just fine. But keep in mind that you do want it to be a lighter color, something that could possibly reflect the light or something that is bright enough that it is a very bright color. Because you're working in a little bit more strategic way here, I want you to find a brush. This one is from BK Beauty and I wanna say this is the 203. Of course, I can't see that. Why do I even try? This one is the number 203. Okay, this is a very flat shader brush that is very precise. And what we're gonna do, we're going to go into lines across our eyes right here on the outer edge. I know it sounds weird, but I promise you it will work out. So we're going to start out and I want to use a color, kind of a color that I think would be to begin with a lighter color. So I think I'm going to start with this lightest pink right here. I'm going to really load that brush and then I'm going to tap it off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in a line straight down. If I had darker colors, you could probably see this better. Go into your crease and straight down into the eye, all the way down onto the lid. So into the crease, all the way down onto the eye. I'm doing this a little bit lighter. Maybe I should be doing it a little bit darker so that you can see, but you're gonna really be able to see the gradient here quickly. Taking that brush, I'm wiping it off, and now I'm gonna go down into, let's do just a tad bit brighter, tad bit darker. Let's go down into the medium pink color right here. And let's tap that off, and let's go in another line right from the crease into the eyelid and again on this side right from the crease into the eyelid we are just laying down color we are not blending at all okay so you can see we have two lines so far i probably really should have darkened that middle one up all right now we're going to go with an even darker color you don't have to use a heavy hand on this one because if you do it can get dark really quickly but if you like a dark eyeshadow go for it i'm going to go for it so you guys can see so i'm taking this dark eyeshadow and i'm making a line right down into the eye, so right out there at that edge by the eyebrow tail, and all the way, I need to pick up a little bit more, 
and all the way down onto the crease. So I look absolutely weird right now. <laughs> so put that brush aside. Grab yourself your favorite fluffy blending brush, okay? So you can see that's a fluffy blending brush. This is the Refer 01 blending brush. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, actually what I saw them was go this way. What I think I'm gonna do is go this way because what I want is I want those shadows to not get too dark too quickly. But what you're gonna see is as I go back and forth is we're gonna be creating it. So go down in the triangle like we always do and then bring it over onto the transition area. And we are just going to go back and forth until we melt all of this and it looks seamless. And at some point you're gonna get to where you're just like, I am just gonna go for it and I am just gonna blend that like crazy. And that's exactly what you do. You just continue to blend until you get it where you want it to be. This outer corner color is going to melt in. Now it's going to look a little bit stark. I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, I didn't put enough down there in the corner. So I'm going to go just right down here and put just a little bit in that corner so that it's a straighter line instead of just skipping right there. So let's go back in and let's buff that some more. And then I'm gonna go right over and I'm gonna do this eye. Same thing, we're gonna buff that baby just like crazy. This is a five minute eye when I am not teaching you what to do here. Really, you can do this quite quickly and you're gonna see that it will be so pretty and so gradient that you're gonna love it. Now I think one of the things that I would have changed is I would have put a little bit deeper on that first color, just so you know that on a normal time. But I like this. I like the way it's turning out. It's turning out really pretty. And it's turning out to be more muted than what I had seen other people do. You can do this with any color you want to do it with. You can do it with neutrals. You can do it maybe with some a peach and some neutrals or a brighter pink and some neutrals add a little bit of blue in there if you want to this could be anything and everything and it is so pretty now because it wasn't quite vibrant i'm adding just a little bit right here of that medium color that we went into like i said i wish that i had done that second color just a little bit um more uh, stark or with a color that just showed up just a little bit more and as you're doing it you can see that it blends so pretty with the color that you put on your lid it just looks really pretty i like this i think that it came together so easy it just blends together seamlessly it's not something that you have to work and work and work with um i don't know if you can really see it all that well i'm hoping that you can it really is a beautiful look you can definitely go in with one of those shadows underneath i am going to be using the retractable one that is waterproof from sephora i think this is just a purple one yeah it just says purple on it. So I'm going to just put this right out here at the edge, try to connect that a little bit. Then I'm going to take the tip and I'm going to smudge it. And then I'm going to go in with my Luxie pencil brush, which is a 217. And I'm going to go into this color right here, which is kind of the medium one, I guess, in it. Um, in the in the shadow palette, excuse me, and I'm just going to dust it across there for some extra budge proof Next I'm going to take my Milani shadow stick. I love this thing for doing my inner corner. It works so good It's easy to lay down and it doesn't go anywhere all day because it is that waterproof formula Today I have a fun eyeliner that I haven't tried before. This one is from Kiko Milano and this is just a purple one. I don't know if this is going to work or not because it doesn't really have a super fine tip on it, but I'm going to try and lay my hand in there the right way so that I can get a pretty fine tip on it. It did pretty good. Not great, but it did pretty good. I would probably like it a little bit better on my bottom lashes. And then I'm trying the new Noir Balm Mascara from L'Oreal. And I haven't tried this very much. I think I've tried this twice. And I do like the way it builds. It has a synthetic bristle brush. So it's the plastic bristle brush 
which I do like for lengthening of my lashes. So as you can see, that mascara did pretty good. It lengthened, it gave a lot of volume, it did pretty good. I will say that the stopper needed to be a little bit heavier or a little bit more so that a little bit less of the product came out. That's just a little pet peeve or a little nitpicky thing that I got going on. Let's stick with the theme of doing a little bit of purple here. And this is the NYX Lip Liner in Prune. On top of that, I'm gonna take the Milani Keep It Full in Nude Shimmer and just put that across as a lip gloss and then I'm going to kind of blend them together. There's your finished look, my friends. I hope that you did enjoy it. I can link my shirt today, but I can't link the earrings. If I find something similar, I will put them down below. I've been finding similar things even if they're not exactly the same. Oh, and by the way, I did find this cool bracelet on Amazon. I absolutely love this thing. It is so fun. It has just a little clasp that comes up. It's real chunky and it's really bright and I am in love with it. So it's really, really fun. So I hope that you did enjoy seeing how quick and how easy that eye look was and then kind of a couple of things to put it together. Tell me what you thought down below. I will be trying this out a couple more times over on Instagram. I might do a couple of reels on it where I just do it really quick or maybe just a little bit of blurbs there so that you guys can see it. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of your time time with me today, please give the video a thumbs up on your way out of here. I really do appreciate that. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will catch you all in my very next video. Take care of yourselves and I love you much. Bye friends.